Okay, so I'm just gonna go pick Junior up. It's kind of a last minute, late night adventure, as you do. And this is gonna be uh, one of the freakier ones I think we've done in a while, so I'm just trying to keep quiet because it is late and it's quite an elderly area around here, so people will be sleeping. But yeah, gonna get in the car. Gonna go pick Junior up and then uh, go scare ourselves half to death because why not? Okay, so I've just pulled up outside Junior's house. Um, where Junior lives is like on a dark country lane, quite out in the sticks to be fair. And his house lights are on, which makes his house look like the Amityville Horror, which is really setting the scene for tonight's um, investigation. So yeah, we're off to a good start. I've got a few concerns besides the obvious, which is getting abused by the paranormal. But um, yeah, my other kind of worry is that where this place is, this church, is like in a little village area. And you know what these village people are like? Everybody knows everybody, everybody looks out for the next door neighbour and so on and so on. They also carry shotguns. <laughs> Farmers and country people carry shotguns like we carry e cigs So you add to the fact that they've probably seen two city boys walking into a church, one of which looks like a member of Jackson 5, and uh, we may come across a very trigger happy farmer while in there, so that's one of my concerns. Hopefully we won't, but you never know. You're gonna have to shine your torch in front because I can't see shit. I'm blinded. Blinded by the lights. You can't even see me. I'm black. Open your mouth a second. There we are, look, teeth. You can see you now. Right, so guys, the plan for tonight is we head into a 700 year old church, potentially haunted. For what reason? We don't quite know. <laughs> Let's weigh up the situation. Oh, we're in the middle of a village, right? Walk into a church, and we're trying to be all like covert. And we've got fucking two massive bright white torches flying around like fucking Batman signs. Junior, will you get that out of my eyes? Are you doing that on purpose? <laughs> Jesus. Where do you get your fucking kicks? <laughs> Casually. Remember oh, this? What was that? I don't know, but it sounded freaky. It sounded like some kind of horror movie stuff. Right, I'm going to turn this off for a bit because we've got to save some camera. Try the door. Oh my god, you've got to be shitting me. <laughs> Shut the door after me, one second, let me in. Okay, like, how scared should we be right now? You touch off. Are you lighting that one or not? Ah, I'm in the 
Still. Right, so we've got to be quiet because there's houses nearby and walking around with these torches on and stuff is putting us on top as it is anyway, so we're going to have to try and be quiet. On top? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, we're fully on top, yeah. We are. <laughs> um, this church is 700 years old, well, older than 700 years. So it's got a lot of history. With history, I'm sure it's probably seen its grim side of that as well. A lot of people during the ages were persecuted for their beliefs and stuff. So you can imagine over 700 years of that, a lot has gone on probably within these walls. So me and Junior have come in here now and surprisingly, this place is left open all the time. So we've come in here and we're just gonna do a bit of investigating really. Talk out openly. Um, and see if we can get a reaction with the candles that were just lit behind us. I've also got my app, which is a voice box or something like that. Um, and we're going to try and get some sounds on there. Voxer app, isn't it? It's, it's kind of like Voxer, isn't it, I suppose. And me and Ben was just having an argument about sanctuary and worship. And I said it's a place of sanctuary, so I don't know why I was scared. And somehow that's gr grammatically wrong. <laughs> so it, it's a place of worship. I'm going with Yeah, that's correct. Um, I feel like saying it's a place of sanctuary is incorrect terminology. Like, because a sanctuary is the place that you do the worshipping. If you're saying it's a place of sanctuary, basically what you're saying is it's a place of church. And I, I still don't get it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we've gone through this about five times. So. He doesn't understand it. I might be wrong, it might be me that's wrong, so if I am wrong, so I'll just go through that, that phrase again. Junior said, I don't know why we're scared, we're in a place of sanctuary, and I think that a sanctuary is a place where you do the worship in, like a church, a cathedral, and stuff like that. So to say you're in a place of sanctuary, to me, is like saying, I'm in a place of church. <laughs> But he's probably right, because he sounds pretty confident right now. No, 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 don't put that on me. I might, not, I might be wrong, but I'm just saying it doesn't sound right to me. So if you guys know what is the correct terminology that June is trying to get at, let us know. It's just the whole, everything about it. Like, so a church is echoey. It's naturally cold because of all the concrete and stuff. So them two things there, I mean, I can see my breath now as I'm speaking. They're the kind of things that we associate associate with being creepy, like echo, hearing noises, obviously in an echoey environment, noises are amplified. And then you add to that, it's got a nice, eerie, cold chill to it as well, which is also something that's associated with the spirit world. This isn't a huge explore or anything like that, it's just a last minute um, little outing for me and Junior, really, so <laughs> hopefully you enjoy it. It's another, another one out, another one in the bag, so yeah. If you want, Junior. <laughs> okay, now. Uh, okay, so the app that we're going to use is called Echo Vox, and I think it's a paid app. I can't remember how much I paid for it, but um, basically, like Junior was just saying, it skims through different radio stations, and the belief is that spirits can somehow manipulate what is said across these multiple radio stations. So if it wants to say yes, it might say yeah, uh, 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 and pick up different words from multiple radio stations to spell out the word that it wants to come back to you with, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to start um, the Echo Vox session one. This is in the creepy 700 year old church, and we'll start that now. Is there anybody that wishes to communicate? If you can in some way alter this rid I'll say that Ben. Can you Hi. Is there anybody here that wishes to communicate? If you can interact with the candles behind us. 
Somebody just said hi. Did somebody just say hi? Yes. Yes. If you said hi, say hi again. Did you hear that? It's in my name. Is. It sounded like it said Jew. Yeah. It did sound like that as well, mate. I'm fucking tearing up. Can you say hello? Is there anybody here? Why does it feel like it's gone dark all of a sudden? Like I could see down there a minute, but why is it got dark? Maybe because light was in our eyes. Yeah, but light was in our eyes when we started this video. Off for a little bit. Shall we turn this off? Would you like us to turn this application off? What? I heard Junior and then I heard Ben. Yeah, I heard both of them. I heard Junior. I heard that clear as day. I, I heard your. I heard Ben. I heard a male's voice say Junior, and then I heard it say Ben. If you could make the candles flicker. Really? Yeah. If you could make that ca candle slicker again. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Could you make the candle on the left flicker again? I don't know mate, I really don't know, and I'm being serious, like what, look how steady the middle one is. No, it's gone steady. Answered by science. I get what you're saying. I think like something as well that and me, tricks of the mind. Yeah. yeah. But I reckon there's a threshold that when it gets when something happens beyond what you can usually explain away with science or just like your mind playing tricks. I think then it's kind of like oh my god. That doesn't mean to say it's still not science. It just means that it's not science that you understand. Yeah. Do you yeah, know what I mean? True. True. Very true. Although for me personally, if, if I was getting asked this question, because I've had experiences that even today defy it's explanation. Like explain, yeah, yeah, I but truly. The, your old house is, is just. I truly weird. believe. Weird, very weird.
I'll be rushing off and leaving me back behind at last. Do you know what you do? Oh, it feels so weird. Would you? No, I don't think I would. What do you reckon them voices were on that Vox? Do you reckon that was just coincidence or? I don't know. I've been thinking about this for for ages, and for it to say our names. Yeah, our names. I mean, Junior is not exactly a common name. Well, it is in America, but. I mean, we it's could just, be. We it's could just be. Junior Ben. Why? Yeah, in that order as well, like Junior yeah. and Ben. Anything the like that? The final flicker was a bit of a... Yeah, that was a bit unnerving. Yeah. And the fact that it'd stop and then you'd ask it again and... It would start again. It'd start again. That was and yet the other two candles were perfectly still. Yeah. Yeah, that was bizarre. But who knows? And a hell of a lot more open. See? You're using words like a hell of a lot and stuff. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know about you, but when I'm in situations like this or in churches, I become really conscious about every word I'm using in case it's deemed offensive. Do you know what I mean? Or is that just me overthinking? Maybe it's you overthinking and me not thinking much at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go with that one. <laughs> so I've got this app on my phone called Granny. Have you played it, Junior? Played what? This game called Granny. What? It's a horror. I know what you're doing. <laughs> She got me. Thank you guys for coming out with us tonight. Like I said, it was only um, a brief little explore for me and Junior. It was a last minute thing, but we've really enjoyed it. It's getting quite cold now and it's starting to rain as well. I'm not sure if we picked any sounds up there that are of any interest, but that's the whole beauty of it. Now we get back, we start to edit this video and have a listen um, a bit more closely as to what may have been said or may not have been said. Until next time, which hopefully will be a big one. Um, yeah. Take it easy, stay safe, and like we always say, if you can, we'd much appreciate it. If like you, and subscribe. That's the one, if you could like and subscribe, spread the word about the channel, and leave comments in the comments box below.